Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about the arterial supply of the face. As you know, the main artery of the face is the facial artery, 1 MCQ. This facial artery is also known as anesthetist artery, second MCQ. This artery is having zigzag course, tortuous course in the face, MCQ. So various MCQs are asked from here and yes, you know, Shri Devi, Hema Malini, Anushka Sharma, Priyanka Chopra, this all the heroines, Hollywood, Bollywood, Tollywood, they all are always and always going for the plastic surgery. Why? Because this face is having rich in vascular supply. So, a small lesion causes profuse bleeding as well as, yes, it gives excellent response to any kind of the surgery or the plastic surgery because it is rich in vascular supply. So, the arterial supply of the face is important. So, we are going to discuss about this topic. Yes, can you see this image? Just for the imagination, see here, this is the common carotid artery. Yes, this common carotid artery divides into the internal carotid artery, which will we will study later in the brain part. And can you see this another artery is the external carotid artery. Clinical correlation, can you see at the bifurcation site of the common carotid artery, the dilatation is seen, which is known as carotid sinus your physiologic correlation that this carotid sinus is rich in chemoreceptor and the baroreceptor which are very essential for the BP regulation etc. Okay? Now see here this external carotid artery is going to supply the thyroid gland. Yes, here is the external carotid artery. First it meets with the thyroid gland. So it will give first branch to the thyroid gland. So that is the superior thyroid artery first branch. Now, this artery is ascending and it is close to the tongue. So, it gives the second branch to the tongue. So, this is the artery for the tongue, lingual artery. Now, as this artery is running above, it is reaching near the face. So, it gives a facial artery to the face. So, I am telling you the course of the facial artery. Can you see? The facial artery is the branch of the external carotid artery. Then, facial artery is initially medial to the mandible then it is winding along the inferior margin of the mandible then it lies here is the position of the masseter muscle so it lies antero inferior to the muscle masseter muscle yes this is the mcq it lies antero inferior to the masseter then this is having the zigzag course zigzag course along the face when it is ascending upside, try to study in your own body. Yes, when it is ascending upside, first it gives first branch to the inferior lip. So, this is the inferior labial artery. Yes, this is the branch of the facial artery. That is the inferior labial artery. Then when it is ascending upside, it is giving the branch to the upper lip, superior labial artery. Then as it is running above, it is reaching towards the medial angle of the eye and it ends as the angular artery yes this is the angular artery which anastomose with the one artery which is known as the dorsal nasal artery yes it anastomose with the dorsal nasal artery at medial angle of the eye and it ends okay yes it gives various unnamed muscular branches on the posterior side also we will revise this all the things with making the diagram but these are the various branches of the facial artery and its course now can you see here this external carotid artery is running upside and then it is dividing into the two terminal branches. Yes, this is the one branch towards the temporal side. That's why this is the temporal artery. Yes, this is the temporal artery because it is superficial in location. That's why this is known as the superficial temporal artery while the another branch is running towards the maxilla bone. So, here this is the maxillary artery. Yes, I am showing with the blue color. This artery is running over the maxilla. So, this is the maxillary artery. So, these are the two terminal branches. External carotid artery is dividing two terminal branches. Yes, superficial temporal and maxillary artery. Superficial temporal over the temporal bone, maxillary artery over the maxilla bone. Yes, now what are the posterior branches? We are using the green color. Can you see? This artery is running posteriorly to the external acoustic meatus. So, the artery which is running behind the ear is known as posterior auricular artery while another artery which is running towards the occipital bone again with the zigzag course. So, this is the occipital artery while this is the posterior auricular artery. So, these are the two terminal branches. Okay. Now, see only one medial branch is there which is running medially 
and ascending upside to supply the pharynx. Getting the point? So, this artery should be known as the ascending. Why it is known as the ascending? Because it is running upside. Then it is supplying the pharynx. That is a pharyngeal artery. Yes, here there is the one medial branch. Can you see this medial branch dotted line? So, this is the ascending pharyngeal artery. Now, we are going to draw this same image in an easy way. So, take a blank paper and draw the diagram practice.